Hey guys, it's Kayla from Killing It With Coupons, and here's my Aldi haul for you guys this week. So if you guys follow my Aldi haul regularly, then you guys know how I compare the Walmart Everyday Low Price to the Aldi Everyday Low Price. I like to compare the two just to see how much I'm actually saving at Aldi, because normally when you go to Aldi, you don't actually get to see like how much you save with a traditional grocery store. So I wanted to see, compare the prices and see how much I save. So when I, um shop at Aldi, I then come home and make my, um, or see how much, um, the price that Walmart would cost, um, using the Walmart app, and it's really nice, because you can just type in whatever, like I typed in potatoes, and it brought up, um, the potatoes at my local Walmart, which is the closest one to me, so it's not comparing, like, potatoes to a different area, um, so that's really nice, so I can actually see what I'd be paying for at my Walmart compared to what I actually paid, and while I ended up saving at Aldi, so that's what I wound up doing, um, and one thing that was actually really nice, I was planning on picking up the Bacon Bites at Aldi, and, um, I saw that Walmart actually has theirs cheaper, they're normally like $1.49 or something like that at Aldi, but they're only a dollar at Walmart, and it's also for the larger size, so I needed that for some loaded potatoes that I'm making this week, um, so that was really nice. I'm going to pick those up instead at Walmart this week instead of at Aldi. So I'll wind up saving 50 cents there, which is really nice. So sometimes Aldi does not have the lowest price and it's nice to see, um, in comparison. So anyway, starting off, um, the total retail cost of all of these items though at Walmart would have been $19.64. I paid $11.83 at Aldi plus 21 cents in tax and save seven dollars and sixty cents i also got back 25 cents from one of my app rebates making my net cost eleven dollars and fifty eight cents so some really nice deals at aldi going on this week first off the heavy whipping cream um it is one pint and i couldn't accurately compare normally i try and compare the walmart um store brand however they didn't have a store brand whipping cream that i could find on the app um, so I compared it to the Dean's, which is normally $3.48 for the one pint. However, Aldi is $1.89, so I saved $1.59. And then the Chunk Cheese, um, this is the 8 ounces. I need one of these for a meal I'm making this week. So at Walmart, they would have been $2.52 at Aldi. They're $1.79, and I saved $0.73 cents there. And then with the shredded cheese, again, for a different meal, um, this is the 16 ounces. Again, I compared it to the Walmart um, generic store brand, which is normally forty or $4.72. At Aldi, it's $3.29, so I saved $1.32 or $1.33 there. And then the potatoes, this is the 10-pound russet potatoes. These are normally three dollars and 67 cents at walmart however aldi they're 2.99 i also got back 25 cents from the snap rebate making my net cost 2.74 for that and i saved it 93 cents and then lastly um or almost last the baby carrots this and the mushrooms this week are part of the produce picks. So the baby carrots are normally a little bit more money than they are, and so are the mushrooms. However, because they're a produce pick, they are um, like on sale, I guess. But again, you don't really see that savings on your receipt as you would a traditional grocery store. But since they're a pick, they're special, and they're um, on sale, I guess. And so normally, though, they would be $1.48 at Walmart. They're $0.49 cents at Aldi, so I saved $0.99. Cents. And with the mushrooms, they're $1.78 for two, so I paid $3.56. Or I would have paid $3.56 at Walmart. However, at Aldi, they're $0.69 cents for two, so I paid $1.38 and saved $2.18. So like I said, the mushrooms normally aren't this price. However, at least for this week, they are on sale along with the baby carrots. So I'll share with you guys my receipt. As you guys can see, up at the top was the heavy whipping cream, the mild cheddar, that was the chunk, and then the mild cheddar with was the shredded, the 10-pound potatoes, baby carrots, and mushrooms. Subtotal was $11.83 after tax. I paid $12.04. And like I told you guys, over the Walmart price, I saved Oh, uh, $7.60. So that's it for me this week. If you guys have a haul from any stores, I'd love to read to you, hear about them via video, picture, comment. You guys can also find these deals and more posts on my blog, calendarscoupons.com. You guys can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, and Tumblr. And you guys can also follow... 
subscribe to our two other YouTube channels as well. Our daily vlogs where we post videos daily on our daily life and then also um, our Nizzy Knit channel which we post fun videos like recipes, challenges, other fun things like that. So all of that will be all linked in the description below. And if you guys would please subscribe. I will talk to y'all next week. Bye guys. If you guys want to find other really fun videos, don't forget to subscribe to Nizzy Net. Also, you guys can subscribe to our daily vlog right here. And finally, if you guys enjoy the content on this video, don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.